can you tell us what how this passed from generation to generation? Jadi dia tanya dari itu yang kayak saya tanya tadi dari atas ke atas itu ada yang memang kau ular baru turun tangannya? Tapi dari saya tahu setelah saya itu Saya sendiri. Okay. Okay. Maybe in their route, yeah, they have a people special skill to know to call in the snake. And now in his family, now only him. Oh. Yeah. So it's turn for him. Okay. Okay. They know how to call the snake. Okay. Like that. So this gentleman, his name is Baltazar, and he has come to help us find snakes. He has a special ability that's been passed on from generation to generation, and he has the ability to call snakes or attract snakes. So he's come to help us. Uh, we could use some help, I think, so we'll see if it works. It sounds very, very interesting, and uh, we're going to go out and uh, see if this works or not. <laughs> we can use the help. So, okay, very good. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's no special preparation, but he can feel it okay. when there's a snake okay. or not, like that. And according to him, our conversation before, that um, when the nature allow us to feel, to find, to see, and then they like you, oh, I see. I see. have a point. Sekarang kan katanya bisa rasa ular itu ada atau tidak. Menurut Yana sekarang ya, ada kok ular di sini atau tidak. Yang kita dikasih ini sekarang. Untuk sekarang tidak ada. For now, there's no snake around closer to us. Okay. Yes. Jadi menurut Yana kapan waktu yang tepat untuk bisa pergi di hari ini? Oke. Oke. Hari ini tidak. Maybe we can try tomorrow. He said not today. Okay. Pagi. Uh, pagi siang malam jam berapa? But I'm curious. Like, some people can see a ghost. They have a special power, mm -hmm. and a lot of them they wish they didn't have that ability. So, so is he happy with having the ability, or does he wish that he didn't have that ability? Uh, kan ada orang kayak punya penglihatan yang ceritanya. Dia punya kemampuan indra keenam. Kadang bisa lihat, kadang bisa amal. Kalau mana sampai ke tangkap itu tidak. Atau hanya rasa saja. Rasa saja. Ini pertanyaan. Like, does it bother him or is it simply, you know, Jadi dia bilang, dengan kemampuan yang anak punya sekarang, anak suka atau tidak. Atau anak pengen itu tidak ada. Sudah, sudah, sudah. He likes it. Okay, I like it too. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go tomorrow morning about 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, we want to see some of the bird life as well, birds of paradise and different things. The birds are very active in the morning time. So we're going to start early. We're going to trek back behind here. This little bay is basically surrounded by two uh, limestone carts. The very sheer walls and it kind of narrows down into the back and then it goes up. It's a lot of trees and jungle in the back. So we're going to head out early in the morning. We're going to do the birds um, first. And then, of course, he's going to have his special senses on while we're uh, outbound. But when we come back, he's going to really work it and see if we can uh, find some snakes. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, I want to see how this goes. So uh, tomorrow morning, we'll do it. Okay. Makasih. <laughs> So this is our second night in Raja Ampat and we were at the Yenkawe homestay. Now there were another uh, group of guests here last night and they left this morning so we have this place all to ourselves. We spent some time earlier getting to know the family here that runs this place and you know they really warmed up to us and, and we've been having a good time today playing with their kids and stuff. So it really shows. Uh, I did my homework before we came out here and a lot of people were complaining that the food overall in this area is kind of bland and that they don't give you enough food. Well, I'll tell you what, that's not the case here. This is something else. They just served us dinner. We have a tuna here. Uh, there's some soup, some watermelon for dessert. I mean, this is something else. This is a feast and it's just us two in this homestay. So 
the Nkawe homestay. I'm feeling at home. Let's eat. All right, so it's 5 a.m. You might recognize this gentleman. This is Baltazar from yesterday. He showed up this morning and we're on our way. It's still dark. We're gonna go look for some birds and hopefully this man's gonna find us some snakes. So let's get it on. The inverts in uh, in all of these areas is always the big surprise. There's, they're always present and you just have to keep your eyes open and look. This right here is a millipede, a really, really big one. Now we usually do see these guys, but they're usually a lot smaller than this. This is really magnificent right here. That is really cool. So this is what we woke up so early this morning to come out here and see. We trekked up the side of this mountain and uh, and this is the spot. When we first got here, there were about five or six males competing for the attention of just only one female. Now it looks like about two other females have joined in. They've come to see what all the commotion is about. And uh, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the plumage of these males is really incredible. It's a whole courtship behavior going on, lots of, lots of activity up in the treetops. Absolutely beautiful. So it is now 6.30 and uh, the sun's starting to come up and it's getting light. Kind of makes the whole, uh, the whole environment here look a lot different with the light. So getting down to a lower level and Baltazar's in the front. See what's going on. So that was quite a trick. That was about, about four hours. And I am drenched with sweat. But the fantastic thing about staying at a place like this is you come down the, uh, the limestone mountain there, come down the little canyon, and it's not far to cool off. So we're going to give it a second go. It's obviously much later in the day. Baltazar is taking us uh, around the island to another area. It's going to be a freshwater river. We're going to get out. We're going to trek around and, and check it out. So the sun is out. It's really hot. It's a beautiful day. And on the way back, I believe we're going to do some snorkeling. So we'll be able to cool off. It's so nice out here. This is really something else. I'm having a really good time. And. Um, you know, snakes or not, it's still a great trip, but um, I still want some snakes. That's the icing on the cake for me. So we're working it as hard as we can, and hopefully we'll have some luck. We have, uh, hopefully our secret weapon behind us is going with us, so we'll check it out. All right, wish us luck. 